Hello, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a musician or artist website using Wix. The first thing you want to do is go onto Wix.com. From there you can sign up for completely free using your email address. Once you have signed up and you have verified your email address, you will be redirected to this page. And all you'll need to do, right on the search bar, you're going to tap right there. And you could type in musician as you can see right here let me do that real quick and you can see musician portfolio or you can simply select musician for this example i will select musician then you are going to tap on next after tapping on next you are going to be redirected to this page on which you are going to enter the name that you would like to give your website so i like to call mine simple answers so let me type in simple answers real quick, then tap on next. After you have done that, you're going to be redirected to a new page. And on this page, you'll be able to pick the apps that you would like to add to your website. So for example, more than likely, you're going to be adding video and you're also going to be adding music. But if you have created an online program that you'd like to sell or a training program that you'd like to sell also on your website, you could tap on this and also if you plan, in, plan on selling any products at all you could tap on online store right here or if you plan on doing any booking events or so on you can select any one of these options once you're finished you're going to tap on next at the bottom of the page after selecting next what i want you to do is tap right where you see begin with a template after you have tapped on begin with a template, you'll be redirected to this page. And the reason why I recommend Wix for complete beginners or even intermediate when creating a website is because it allows you to access numerous templates that will make your website look professional. For example, you can see any one of these templates are completely free to use. All you have to do is tap on the template that you like. For this example, I would use one of these two as they tend to be the best match. So let's say I want to use this one. All you have to do is tap on edit. Once you have tapped on edit, you are going to give it a few seconds. Meanwhile, the AI composes your website. Once it's finished, you'll be redirected to this page. And what I want you to do next is go over to the top left hand menu option. And you are going to tap on add elements once you have tapped on add elements you will see this drop down menu and with this you'll be able to add text or if you would like to add music to your website you can quickly do that by tapping right where you see video and music from there you can select audio player and you could select any one of these audio player so let's say for example i would like to add music to my home page all I'll need to do is select this audio player. I'll simply tap and drag and place it right here, as you can see. After doing that, all you'll need to do now is tap right where you see change track. After you have tapped on change track, you could tap on upload track and from there you'll be able to add your own music. And also you can change the display picture. So you could tap on choose image and you'll be able to upload your own image as you can see right here. And you can also add the track name right here. And if you would like it to play on loop, meaning that it continually plays. So even when the song is finished, it would start back over. You could do that. Or if you would like it to play once, you can do that. And you can add this on any page. All you have to do is go over to the top left hand corner and tap on add elements and if you would like to add an image or if you would like to add text to a page all you have to do is tap on the plus in the top left hand corner again then you'll select text and you'll simply drag the text box to where you'd like to add it if you'd like to add an image it is the same concept you'll simply tap on image then drag it to where you want to place it you can also add buttons to your website quite easily and you can add basically anything that you want to your website by simply tapping on the plus. And to edit or to create more pages on your website, 
all you have to do is tap on the third icon from the top left hand corner which is pages and menu then you can see at the moment I only have three pages so you can see them right here and by the way if you would like to delete a page all you have to do is tap on the three dots beside the page name then you would select delete from the bottom of the page and if you would like to move a page for example I would like to put the tour page above music all you have to do is simply tap where you see the six dots then you would drag the page into position where you want it and to add a new page all you have to do is tap on add page and from there you'll be able to create a new page and if you do not like the color concept of your website you can change it by tapping on the capital A from the left hand menu option and from here you'll be able to change the color scheme of your website all you have to do is tap right where you see change theme then at the moment you can see that these are the four colors of my website let's say I would like to change it to retro vibrant all I have to do is tap on it and after I've tapped on it you can see that the color has changed and if I would like to change it to another color like say electric you can see that the color has changed also and you can see it right here and now to complete our editing if you would like to change anything at all let's say you would like to change the top section right here the top menu option all you have to do is tap on the header then you are going to see a pencil icon that says quick edit once you have tapped on quick edit you are going to see a menu box pop up on the right hand corner and from there you can do all of your changes and this applies with anything on your website and again on any page so let's say I would like to change this to simple answers I can do that as you can see right there once everything is to your liking all you'll need to do now is tap on the X then you can tap on preview at the top right hand corner to preview the changes so let's do that let's tap on the home page so I can see how the home page looks so I'll select home and you can see this is my home page at the moment remember that I had added the track right there so you can see how the home page looks right here and if it is to your liking all you'll need to do is tap on publish but before going to publish what I would like you to do is tap on back to editor and I'm going to be showing you some more features of your new Wix website. So you're going to go over to the top left hand corner. And right where you see site, you're going to tap on my dashboard. Let's do that real quick. Let me save this first. So I'll save it. Then I'm going to go back to my dashboard. So I'll go over here then tap on my dashboard. Once on your dashboard, what I want you to pay attention to is the left hand menu options. For example, you could tap on music library and after tapping on music library from there, you will be able to create an album as you can see right here. Or if you would like to create a new single, so you can add a max five tracks. Also, if you would like to customize or create a playlist and you can see that the max amount of tracks would be 500 all you'll need to do is tap on create playlist and to organize your video library all you have to do again is go over to the left hand menu option right where you see video library you could hover over that then you would select videos and from here you'll be able to upload videos and you'll also be able to organize your videos all you'll have to do is tap on upload videos or if you would prefer to embed your videos for example from YouTube or from Vimo you can do that by simply pasting the URL right here and you can also add live streams if you want and after you're finished all you'll need to do now if you want to add any contacts or so on you can do that and by the way if you plan on selling any course or accepting payments you will need to set up a payment plan with Wix 
So for example, you will go over to the left hand menu option, tap right where you see billing and payments, then you are going to tap on payments. And from there, you'll be able to add the payment option that you would like to offer to your clients. So you are going to tap on manage payment methods. After tapping on manage payment methods, if you would like to, for example, add PayPal or so on, you can do that. All you have to do is tap on connect. Then you would add your PayPal information. And if you don't see a payment method that you would like to use, you could scroll down to the bottom of the page and tap right where you see more payment options. Then from there, you'll see even more payment options that you can add. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.